it to you as soon as possible. Um, I just like to, you know, get things done. So I can send this to you by like the end of this week or next week. Um, and then I guess once you have everything you need um i'll just wait till like december or do you let me know when if you're submitting or like how does that work so i just finished the meeting and i'm feeling pretty good about everything um i have some things i need to change in my pitch deck for them to push it all the way through and in december they said they'll be making the decision and it is july Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Artasia Olivia. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's topic of this video is how to get a pitch meeting with a television network without an agent. Yay! So if you guys want to know how to pitch to two major television networks, literary agents, literary managers and a couple production studios slash companies stay tuned so before we get today's video um i want to tell you guys to watch my last video i went into a little bit more detail about my last pitch session to um the most recent television network i pitched to and it went really really well um, I don't want to disclose the actual name of the network just yet, um, but in summary, I will know if it will be ordered in December, so I'm super excited. Um, they really loved it, so I'm praying that your girl get her first television show on a freaking streaming platform, which is pretty big. Yeah, I watched that last video and I kind of like talk about what happened and what not. And yeah, let's get into today's video. So there's five ways um, that I feel like you can get a pitch meeting with a television network. I know for all the people that's in the film, television is a little bit different in regards to, uh, you know, getting a television show made or a television series made. It's a little bit different than filming a movie. Movies is a little bit more independent, but with television series, like you kind of want to be connected to a network, a streaming platform for it to be really big. So number five um, is obviously the traditional way which is through a literary agent or manager. So pretty much a literary agent and manager's job is to find you production companies and network streaming services that want to order your television series. So that's their job. They also do films as well, but we're talking about TV today. So yeah, that's the traditional way. That's how people been getting television series ordered for years by going through a literary agent, literary manager. However, I put that as number five because that's very, very hard if you're you're starting independently, like you don't have an agent, you don't have a manager. Um, like me, I don't have a literary agent or manager. So if you have one, kudos to you. Tell them to do their job. Tell them to get you some general meetings. Tell them to get you some pit sessions. And yeah, good luck with that. But most people, if you're like me, we don't have a literary agent. So we kind of got to hustle a little bit harder. So um, number four, this, this technique is a little bit hard as well. But you know, people have gotten shows made from this. Number four, which is networking with executives yourself. So you can go to like events, workshops, like peers, um, friends, social media, any way you can kind of like introduce yourself to a executive from like big networks such as like HBO Max, Showtime, any way you can meet these executives, let them know who you are, what you're writing, what your show is about. Um, that's always a good way 
But always make sure it's genuine when you're networking and every connection you want to make, you want to make sure it's a genuine connection and not just like, oh, you can do this for me. So if you have any friends that work for these companies or if you go to workshops and you meet them yourselves or events, like introduce yourself, let them know who you are because you never know like what they're looking for at the time. You never know your way in. So always, you always want to be friendly and to be professional and respectful, but also, you know, let them know like, hey, I'm a screenwriter. I write this kind of content. I have these kind of scripts and you never know what can happen from there. But again, that's a little bit hard if you're kind of just starting out. Like me, I started writing like two years ago. So that may be a little bit harder. So we come into number three. Number three, uh, climbing the ladder on a television series. This is a little bit more doable, but still, um, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to get a job on a television series. But if you do, this would be a perfect way to pitch your television series to a network because if you start off as a staff writer or a writer's assistant, a showrunner's assistant, um, executive assistant, a production assistant, whatever, whatever kind of job you can get on a television series, work your way up, climb that ladder because if that television series is on a particular network or streaming service and you're head staff writer, you work your way up all the way to staff writer or writer's assistants, they're gonna be like, okay, what do you do? Who are you? What do you write? Like, they're gonna look at you and be like, you know, try to, they, you have a relationship with that network. So it'll be a little bit easier to get a pitch meeting because you already have been working with the network. And I've known people that got television series order based on the fact that they wrote on a television show for the network. Like, yeah, it's pretty dope. So definitely climb the ladder on a television series to get a um, pitch session with that network. So number two and number one are my favorite uh, options because they're a little bit more achievable. They're a little bit more uh, beginner friendly and you don't necessarily have to live in LA or Atlanta for these options or New York. Um, for these options. So number two is definitely contests and festivals. So when I say contests, I'm talking about screenwriting um, contests such as like Coverfly or Film Freeway, like contests that are on those websites um, can help you uh, get a television pitch meeting. And also film festivals where you can enter your pilot that you already shot. Distributors, agents, production companies, managers, they're all like judges of these contests and of these festivals. And at the festivals, if they're not a judge, they're definitely in attendance to see who's doing what, like who's shooting what, who's writing what. So these um, putting your uh, script in the screenwriting contest and putting your pilot that is produced into festivals is definitely a good way to go to get a pitch session with a TV network. There are contests that the literal prize is a pitch session with the executive. <laughs> like, it's so dope. Like, there are so many contests, so many festivals where you're bound to meet an executive that would point you into the right direction in a pitch session. Um, and then my favorite, drum roll please, and this is exactly how I got my pitch sessions. Y'all ready for the secret sauce? And before we get to number one, um, let's just talk about the fact that I'm sharing this with you guys. Like a lot of people in this industry want to keep things to themselves, especially if it's not, you know, solidified yet. They don't want to share the thoughts 
They want to kind of steal it and keep it to themselves. Don't want to help nobody. Don't want to put nobody on. But I feel like you block your blessings like that. Like, if you're not way to uh, get put on, like, share it. Like, I don't understand why people feel like they have to keep everything a secret. So, this is the whole purpose of my YouTube channel is to help you guys as I help myself. Because, again, I'm not perfect like I'm not a professional I'm a beginner like I'm figuring everything out as I go along and I'm just sharing it with you and documenting everything because I feel like that's just how you get blessed and what's for you is for you and what's not is not so you helping someone is not going to dim your light you get what I'm saying anyway number one general please online pitching platforms i know some of you guys may have already heard of these but this is like a newer way to pitch television um shows to television networks again online pitching platforms and my favorite online pitching platforms are stage 32 and virtual pitch fest so let's dive into like what is an online pitching platform so pretty much it's a way for people that don't live in Atlanta, LA, New York, if not I live in Atlanta, but whatever. Majority screenwriters do, but some of them don't. Some uh, screenwriters don't live in those cities. So online pitching platforms is a way for people anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country to pitch to television networks um, from the comfort of their own home. Yeah, so like you cannot get any better than that. So I like Stage 32 where I got my two meetings from and then Virtual Pitch Fest is a little bit different. I may um, make a separate video on exactly how I navigate through those, but Stage 32 is definitely my favorite by far because they have like workshops, they have pitch sessions, they have, um, they have like, coverage they have all types of different things they even have i think contests and stuff like they have a lot of different things that help you get in touch and meet executives of hbo max showtime paramount like different things like that like i told y'all when my first uh pitch meeting was with paramount and i didn't even like schedule it to be a pitch meeting it just kind of turned into a pitch meeting because i scheduled for it to be um me like getting feedback from an executive but he loved it so much that was one of my first things but i didn't end up working out um that was like my first big pitch meeting um it didn't end up working out however it was still a good opportunity and i may go into detail about that later again like i have like so many like off topic or you know sidebar conversations that i want to have with you guys but i'll probably make separate videos about that so yeah uh stage 32 is really good virtual pitch fest um that's also pretty good but that one is more like a written type of pitch with stage 32 you can um sign up to have um over the phone pitches skype pitches or verbal pitches so i like that you have the different options and you can pitch to production companies you can pitch to agents you can pitch to uh managers or you can pitch directly to networks which is my favorite but also I like agents and managers because they help you get other people and other production companies so i guess it just depends on what you're looking for as a screenwriter or filmmaker or whatever you are but disclaimer you do have to pay for their services and nothing in the world is free let me tell y'all something okay you don't have to you have to spend a little bit of money to invest in yourself like i feel like it's similar to actors access like people pay a subscription for actors access and they get auditions but most of the time they don't get those auditions and it's kind of similar to this like say 32 you can pitch 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 to different networks agents executives or whatever 
but sometimes, majority of the times, you're probably not going to get it. However, that small 5%, that 5% chance that you might get it is definitely life-changing. So I feel like it's worth it. Like, it's not that expensive. Like, some of the pit sessions are like $35. Um, some of the, like, you can have, like, phone calls with executives that read your script, get feedback that's like a couple hundred dollars. Like, they have different services, but definitely the pitch services are $35 that I really, really love. Um, and then I feel like it's worth it. Like, I've pitched a whole bunch of times. Like, I've pitched at least, like, on Stay Sure 2, I've pitched, like, maybe 20, 25 times. And I got that one. Yes. And it could possibly change my life. Like, it hasn't yet, but um, it may. It will. I'm speaking into existence. <laughs> so, yeah. So, definitely check those platforms out. I hope this video helped. I will definitely be making more videos every week. So, stay tuned. Please comment down below. Have you guys used Sage Shorty 2? Have you guys used Virtual Pitch Fest? Have you guys... Um, worked on a television show have y'all had a literary agent do you have a literary agent or do you have a manager like what's the four of ones what's tea like let me know what y'all got going on okay i'll let y'all know what i got going on let me know what y'all got going on <laughs> i'm just saying you don't have to so i hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more bye